Petera College, Grade 3, Environmental Studies, Plants, Trees and Papers, Part 1. Hello my dear children, how are you all? Hope that you all stay safe at home. First of all, let's see what are we going to learn today. Today, we are going to learn about classification of plants, plants in the school premises, parts of a plant. Okay children, let's start our lesson. Classification of plants. We can classify plants into few different groups. They are trees, shrubs, herbs and creepers. First we are going to learn about trees. A tree is a tall and a strong plant with a trunk and branches made of wood. It is large in size. Here are some examples for trees. Mango tree. Mango is a type of fruit. The mango tree is erect and branching with a thick trunk. The leaves of the tree are shiny and dark green. Coconut tree. Coconut trees can vary in size and thickness. And also the trunks are slender. Teak tree. Teak is a very important tree. It makes excellent outdoor furniture due to its water resistance, durability and beauty. Banyan tree. Banyan is a large, long-lived, fast-growing, evergreen tree. The leaves of banyan tree are large, glossy, green and elliptical. Let's learn some more examples for trees. Bo tree. Everybody's temple in the island has a bo tree as this plant is sacred to Buddhists. There are heart-shaped leaves in bo trees. Jack tree. Jack is a giant tree. It's grown in many parts of Sri Lanka. It is regarded as one of the important and useful trees. It provides delicious fruits and valuable timber. Wood apple tree. Wood apple tree is a large tree with an oval shaped leaves, a hard berry fruit. Margosa tree. Margosa tree is also known as neem tree. It is valued as a medicinal plant and also for its timber. Next we are going to learn about shrubs. Shrub is a woody plant which is smaller than a tree and has several main stems arising at or near the ground. Here are some examples for shrubs. Tea plant. The tea plant is branching with alternate elliptical leaves. The leaves and leaf buds are used to produce tea. Rose plant. Many roses have a strong pleasant scent. Most roses have prickles on their stems. Rose shrubs are able to tolerate a wide variety of growing conditions. Brinjal. The brinjal plant is also another example for shrubs. It is also known as eggplant. The fruit is widely used in cooking. Coffee plant. The coffee plant is a shrub that bears fruit along its branches. Within each fruit lies one or two seeds which are better known as coffee beans. Let's learn some more examples for shrubs. Chili plant. Chili plants are small shrubs that usually grow for a year or more in warm locations. Leaves and young tips can be used fresh or when cooking curries. Croton. Croton plants are tropical house plants. 
Cotton leaves come in a wide variety of colors, color combinations. Leaf shapes and leaf sizes depending on the variety. Lemon plant. Lemon plant produce oval shaped yellow fruit. The fruit is used for cooking and also juice and peel are used to make medicine. Bougainvillea plant. The flowers of the bougainvillea plants are small and plain. Leaves are bright green and alternately arranged along stems. Now we are going to learn about herbs. Herbs are very small plants with a weak and tender stem. Okay children, let's learn some examples for herbs. Grass. Grasses grow almost everywhere on earth because they can survive in many different climates. The leaves of grasses usually look like blades. Sunflower. Sunflowers are useful plants with large flower heads. They are named for the way they turn their blooms from east to west to follow the sun. Balsam. Balsam is an ideal plant for containers and areas along walks or paths. Its cup-shaped flowers come in shades of white, pink, red, purple, etc. Here are some more examples for herbs. Mondocodumbia. Mondocodumbia plant is a medicinal plant. Its flowers are mostly of pinkish color. Tomato. Tomato is a flowering plant and the fruit of this plant is labeled as a vegetable for nutritional purposes. Tomatoes are a good source of vitamin C. Paddy. Paddy is usually planted in a flat field filled with water. Paddy is the name of the crop and rice is the grain obtained from paddy. When the husk is removed from paddy, rice is obtained. Now it's time to learn about creepers. Creepers are generally considered to be small, tiny plants that grow close to the ground as they cannot stand on their own. Here are some examples for creepers. Goticola. Goticola is a small creeping plant. It is a medicinal plant. Pumpkin. Pumpkin plant produces pumpkin, which is a large rounded orange or yellow fruit with a thick rind. Watermelon. Watermelon plant is another creeping plant which produces watermelon. It is a fruit. It has a sweet, juicy, refreshing flesh of yellowish or reddish color. Let's learn some more examples for creepers. Cucumber. Cucumber is a creeping plant which produces cucumber. It is covered in a hard, thick outer rind. Ash gourd. Ash gourd plant produces a large fruit eaten as a vegetable when mature. Muskmelon. Muskmelon is also another creeping plant. Hey children, now it's time to learn about some plants in the school premises. There are many plants in the school premises. We can group them as herbs and shrubs, trees and creepers. There are few herbs and shrubs can be found in the school premises. They are Basil, Grass, Mondocodumbia, Pomegranate and Manioc. In here, balsam, grass and mandracodumbia plants are herbs and pomegranate and manioc plants are shrubs. These are some of the trees which can be found in the school premises. Jack tree, Cantha tree, Cotumba tree, 
mango tree, coconut tree, pepper tree, and tea tree. As creepers, cacharello, and cucumber plants can be found in the school premises. Okay, children, now it's time to do a small exercise. Fill the following table. In here, you have been given some pictures of plants. By looking at the pictures, write the name and the type of each plant. Now check your answers. Answers for the first picture. Name of the plant is rose and it's a shrub. Second picture. Name of the plant is coconut and it's a tree. Third picture. Name of the plant is pumpkin and it's a creeper. Fourth picture. Name of the plant is paddy and it's a herb. You did it. Well done children. Now we are going to learn about another interesting topic that is parts of a plant. As you can see in this picture we can name the parts of a plant. They are seed, fruit, leaf, flower, stem and roots. Now let's learn the characteristics of each part of a plant. Leaf. A leaf is an above ground plant organ. Flower. Flowers are the reproductive structure of flowering plants and flowers have petals. Fruit. A fruit is the seed bearing structure in flowering plants. Stem. The stem keeps the leaves in the light and provide a place for the plant to keep its flowers and fruits. Roots. Root helps a plant to absorb water and minerals from the soil for the plant's growth. Okay children, shall we do another small exercise? Look at the following picture and write the parts of this plant in front of the given numbers. Let's do it. Now it's time to check your answers. Number 1 Flower Number 2 Fruit Number 3 Stem Number 4 Leaf Number 5 Roots you did a great job. Okay children, I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. So, stay safe at home. See you soon. Bye-bye.